Hello, Virgos. So the last reading I did, I was getting that someone's spying on you astrally, uh, like telepathically, like they might be looking into you, maybe doing, um, going to psychics to find out what you're, what you're doing, who you're with, maybe spying on your social media accounts, um, you know, using divination, ruins, uh, board readings, tarot, oracle, what, whatever the case may be, that there's someone that was just spying on you. And I feel like they're embracing the psychic world. Like they might have been closed off to it in the past, but now they're really opening themselves up to that. Like they've come to this realization that that stuff is real. Like maybe you told them about it before, but maybe they were kind of hesitant or they weren't fully sure about it. But now it just seems like something's clicked and now they're just completely diving into that. So that's where I, that's where we were last uh, couple weeks ago. Let's see where we're at now. I'm going to start off with Bibliomancy from this book I just bought. And then I'm going to get into the Oracle card reading. So first message. Once you have learned that love is metaphysical above all else, not even the most convincing separation nor the most intimidating distance can keep the two of you apart. So yeah, it feels like it's a very spiritual, very psychic energy to this. It almost feels like this person's a little bit obsessed with you, but they're not telling you in the physical. They're just maybe meditating and trying to show up. They might be trying to show up in your dreams. They might actually be experimenting with that and trying to see if they can show up in your dreams. They might be... Um, like I said, just using divination, just trying to, trying to kind of go inward to connect with you, if that makes sense. Um, it was you all along. It was you that I was writing for. Some of them are a, are a writer. Before my eyes had ever set sight on you, every cell making up the composition of my body, they knew you. So yeah, there's a powerful transformation here with someone. It just feels like really feels like someone that was not as open to this before, but then they had this epiphany. Like they, they probably had untapped psychic abilities and you probably saw that in them as well and maybe tried to get them on that path. And it's like something just opened up for them. So they are just, yeah, like I said, they're just diving in. They're just looking into the psychic world in a way that they never have before. Because if you see all these, these quotes that we're getting, they're all about, um, you know, these, these channeled messages. They're... They're all about connecting with someone spiritually, psychically. It's like a soul, like recognition of a soulmate or twin flame connection. Some of these people are a little bit too obsessed, though. Some of them are trying too hard to tap into your thoughts. Some of them are using witchcraft on you. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them. From the moment that you and I were born onto this earth, our contracts were created, stating destined to meet by law to love, signed God. I get like kind of a possessive energy with some of them. Some of them are a little bit too like, I mean, like it's sweet that they're looking into this. It's sweet that they're going down this path now. Like it's good that they're finally listening to their intuition. They're listening to their spirit guides. They're taking the things that you maybe told them about the psychic world seriously now. Like they're, 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 they're finally completely open to that. But at the same time, it's like becoming an obsession with them. It feels like. Because it feels like similar. So when I do these readings, I just, I don't ask any questions. I just tap into the energy. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. It's not, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I don't, I don't ask anything specific. I just pull cards and ask what the current story is. Like this is, you know, me channeling your energy and me channeling your person's energy or the energies that are connected to you um, most powerfully at this time. So it's, it's like, you know, the cards say what they say. <laughs> um, but it feels like a heavier energy than before. It really feels like like it's the same story, of course, but it feels like they've they're diving in even more than before. Like some of them might be looking into like um like sex magic or like uh like what what is that? Like Aleister Crowley or something, I think. I don't know. That's probably just a message for like one or two specific people. I'm just getting that some of them are really like they're taking it to the next level. Like a couple of weeks ago, they were, you know, already kind of in that energy where they're like, oh, my God, like this stuff is real. Like psychics are real. Witchcraft is real. Magic is real. Like um, 
synchronicity is real spirit guides are real all this stuff and they were just really excited and exploring it but it seems like they've just they've gone through a major awakening process is what i'm feeling they might have gone through a dark night of the soul and then the awakening process was triggered within the last couple months or so but i feel a heavier energy now so it's like the same energy of them diving into this stuff but they've they dove deeper than they were a couple weeks ago if that makes sense it's like they're they're really in this now like they might have just started exploring some kind of new practice is what i'm getting that maybe they met someone that's introducing them to like a certain type of magic or maybe they started going to like a class or researching a certain topic regarding all of this i hope that i hope that makes sense to you guys but let's see what the cards have to say and if this is a soulmate connection and you're done with this you can do a cut and clear spell i mean i i did a cut and clear ritual on my page maybe like a month or so ago so if you go through my videos and go back and find that it's pretty easy to do and you can just do it along with me because if you're done with someone you need to cut the cords so that they can't easily pick up on your energy and vice versa because the cords are in this connection like they're they're strong I'm, I'm picking that up it's like it's not like you have a very psychic connection with this person so it's not very hard for them to tap into your energy and some of them are even trying to I know it sounds crazy, but some of them are trying to implant thoughts in your head. Like, I remember someone telling me, this was like years ago, I remember someone telling me about this tarot trick. And he was like, yeah, like you, you put down the tarot cards that you want and that you like what you want to happen. It's like a spell or something. I forget how he did it, but he was like, you put down the cards you want to happen and you obsess over that and like you keep repeating it. And... It kind of feels like what this person is doing because I'm getting a headache doing this reading. So it's like this person is really like they've gone off the deep end with this stuff, <laughs> um, which I mean, isn't always a bad thing. But I mean, it's kind of bad if they're being too obsessive about it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's almost like their mind was open, like they realized this stuff was real, but they're like choosing to use it for darker purposes, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, some people are introduced to witchcraft um, and not all of them are being introduced to witchcraft. Only, you know, I th I'd say at least half of you, your person is, but not all of you. But I mean, some, you know, it's like someone that's like introduced to witchcraft and you're you're you were kind of hoping maybe that they would be introduced and they would open up to that eventually. But you kind of thought that they would like do healing spells or they would um use it to, to for self-empowerment to get their life on track and instead they're like oh i'm going to do love magic or i'm going to do sex magic or i'm going to for i'm going to hex someone you know what i mean and it's not and, and you know each person's practice is their own but so i'm not going to judge but it's like they just they decided to go down a different path with magic is kind of what i'm getting for those of you that your person did just open up to to doing magic um yeah, because my head is hurting doing this reading because like the when energy I got a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, this is kind of sweet. Like they're like they're open. They're like they're finally noticing the synchronicity. They're like they're they're trying to look into you telepathically, but it's like, oh, they're using divination. But now it's like they're like obsessing, like they're like doing spell work and readings and all that stuff like every day. Like it's like it's a huge part of their life now, which, again, isn't always a bad thing. But for this person, it feels like a bad thing. It feels like they're using it as a way to con like they've realized that they can connect with you through this and they're 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 doing that basically and also if they have too much pride to reach out physically it's like a way for them to tap into your energy um without having to you know put their pride aside and actually reach out to you in the physical world and if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into this like exactly what your person's doing like more specific details whatever you want to know just send me an email my email is right below this video right below this video in the in the description box and any donations are appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly and um, my donation links are also below in the description box and uh please subscribe if it resonates okay let's see what's going on here
Yeah, but like my head is hurting doing this reading. So I'm like, this person is like obsessed. So, so yeah, for those of you that do not want this connection, I would say go do a cut and clear spell and shield yourself and protect yourself from this person. Because they're like really tapping into you right now. They're really, they're trying to at least. Um, and it's not like if you're a witch yourself, it's not saying that what you're doing is not working, but it just might be that your person is so obsessive and like possessive and neurotic that it's affecting you. Does that make sense? It's like, you might be like, dude, like I did a protection spell a couple weeks ago. What the hell? Like, didn't it work? And it's like, no, it is working, but it's like, this person is like every single day, like meditating on you, obsessing over you, like trying to manifest you back. So if you don't want this, it's like almost like you're in a psychic battle that you're, you're trying to like not be in a psychic battle. You're like, I don't have time for this. I don't want to do it. But it's like, unfortunately, you have this energy to deal with. Like, I hate to say it, but I mean, it's what's happening. Like I said, the readings aren't good or bad. It's just I I don't ask any questions. I just say I ask, you know, I I just lay the cards out and see what the current story is. And this is the current energy that I'm getting. So don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um but yeah, some of you, there might be like a certain, <coughs> oh, sorry, some of you, there might be like a certain reason why it's not working. Like maybe, maybe you're doing all the protection spells, but you haven't actually cut the cord yet. Or maybe like you have to contact them or something like you're not like your mutual friends are talking about them or something, something that's keeping you guys connected. Because keep in mind, when you do cut and clear spells, you have to really be done with them. Like you can't, you can't do a cut and clear spell and then keep talking to them because the cords will just reattach themselves because you're you're reestablishing that connection. So when you cut and clear someone, you have to block them. You have to be done with them. You have to tell your friends beforehand, like, hey, don't ta don't tell me about what they're doing, what they're going through. I don't want to hear their name. Like you have to really be like 100 percent like they're dead to you, like they don't exist to you anymore um, when you do a cut and clear spell. So keep that in mind if you, you know. You might have done one and then you might have like the cords might have reattached. So you might have to redo it for some of you if, if that's your case. So please just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I don't like this energy. I really don't like I did. I liked I don't know why because it may well because maybe they were just like starting to explore a couple weeks ago. So I guess that kind of makes sense because I actually felt like a kind of sweet energy a couple weeks ago. I was like, oh, they're finally opening themselves up. But it's like they went off the deep end with it. I think they just took it too far. They're like, they're maybe they tested the waters and like tried to manifest a text from you. And then you text them and they're like, oh, my God, this does work. So now they're like obsessing even more, more. Some of you, some of you are missing this person and you're not sure why. And this is me channeling. Like I primarily channel the, the cards are just a tool that I use to like give you guys visuals and like kind of help. I mean, it helps me too, but, but I mean, I primarily channel. So this isn't just like random advice. This is me channeling you and your person. But um, anyway, some of you are missing this person and you know that you're over them. Like your intuition, like you, you know that you don't want them. You know that you're over them, but you're finding yourself like missing them or you're finding them popping into your head randomly. And you're just like, what the hell? Like, why am I thinking about this person? And it's them doing love magic on you. I hate to scare you and don't be scared. Like, even if you're not, um, super experienced with this stuff, it's like, don't, don't be scared of it. You know, don't give them that power. It's like you, you'll be okay. You'll come out of this. You know what I mean? Like it's not the end of the world. I've had so many people do black magic and love spells on me and yada yada. And I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like I've gone through all of it. It's, it happens, you know, it, it happens when you're in this kind of line of work too. So, so like I'm saying, just don't, don't panic. It's, it's something that you can handle. So I would recommend doing a cut and clear ritual, doing the cut and clear spell again, if yours didn't work. And I think a lot of you that are watching this are witches yourselves or you're psychic or you at least have maybe you were like a witch in your past life. Even if you haven't practiced a whole lot this lifetime, I feel like you still have that knowledge to pull from on from past lives. But I mean, the important thing with magic is, you know, shield, ground yourself. So do the cut and clear spell again. If you did it and you reconnected with them or you feel like the cords reattached, just do the spell again. Put your power and intention into it and keep doing the protective spells. Because I unfortunately, I hate to say it because I know I, I know it's upsetting, but I unfortunately feel like this this person's going to try for a while. 
But eventually they will give up. I do see them eventually giving up, but they're going to have to, they're going to have to see that they're not affecting you. Like you're going to need to discourage them and make them feel like what they're doing isn't working on you. Because some of you are thinking about them and you're like, what the hell? Or like, like not all of you, but some of you are messaging them and like, are, and you're like, are you doing magic on me? And you're like, you're pissed. Or you're like, hey, stop doing witchcraft on me or stop. Or, or like you message them after they meditate on, you know, trying to manifest a text message from you or something like that. So you need to discourage them and make them question their power, make them feel like their magic is not working. So and you do that through silence through most for most. I mean, use your own intuition, of course, just to know what you need to do. Like this isn't for everybody. But for most of you, I would say that you need to use silence because they need to get frustrated and they need to feel like what they're doing is just not even affecting you anymore. So after you do the cut and clear work, I would also do um, protection, like protection, like protecting yourself. And I would do it consistently. Um, if you have a pendulum or you have Oracle cards, I would also tap in here and there and just see what's going on. Just kind of keep your guard up. Um, really keep with the protection spells. You can also do reversing spells. So reversing spells are kind of a loophole to hexing because the person is basically doing it to themselves. So with the, with a reversing spell, you're sending all their negativity back to them. So it's a loophole to hexing because it's like they're doing they're doing it themselves. You're you're not you're not just hexing them and saying, oh, I'm going to mess their life up no matter what. It's like no, if they keep coming at you, it's going to keep going. It's like a mirror. It's going to keep going back on them. You know, a lot of you guys. I hate to say it, but a lot of you guys are in this psychic battle where you, whether you like it or not, and you're going to have to fight this battle. I know it sucks, but, you know, at least you know, at least you're not just being drained and having someone do love magic on you and having no one tell you about it. You know what I mean? Like, at least you know what's going on now. And so you can address it. And yeah, it might be a psychic battle for a little bit. But eventually, like I said, they I think eventually, if you keep do if you keep protecting yourself and you just are kind of silent like you don't give them any more attention they're gonna get frustrated at a certain point I'm seeing within like a few months like they're gonna like two or three months is the time I usually don't get timelines but I'm getting like two or three months of silence of just like like not even phased by it like you're on social media living your best life like you're happy like if they're if they're doing spells to try to like take your abundance away and try to like make you dependent on them I would like post if they're stalking your social media I would post pictures on social media of you like out with your friends like just like living your best life like it's not even like say you have a bad day so you wake up and you have a bad day and you can feel they're doing some particularly powerful magic like I would the same day or like the next day I would go post on social media like and, and be, be natural, you know, so they know it's not forced, but, but yeah, like post a picture of you out with your friends. Are you out, um, like doing something fun? You know what I mean? Just like, like you're good. Like no, no upsetting social media posts because that will also let them know, like if you're posting things on social media, like you're depressed or you're upset, if they're stalking you, that's also going to let them know that it's what they're doing to try to make you codependent on them is working. So you want to avoid posts like that. Some of them could be spying on your social media and they could be under a fake account. Some of them, yeah, some of them are stalking you on a fake account, unfortunately. Um, to see your post. Like, this person's really obsessed with you. So, e. I would normally do a reading to try to get, like, you know, what new love is coming and, like, what's happening. But this has to be addressed first, to be honest, before you can really have something new, I'm feeling. Um, not that you can't have support through this, but just that this person's energy is going to repel people that might be interested in you or people you might be interested in. Like, this person has, like, like telepathically, they're trying to bind you to them. They may have done a binding spell on you that you need to undo. So, and I'm sorry, I know I really hate giving readings like this. Like, usually I try to just do love readings and be positive. But, I mean, I channel what I channel. I can't help it, you know? It's like, it's whatever the story is. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys take my advice and do the cut and clear work. Do the protection work. Do the reversing spell if need be, you know? Tap into your own intuition too. Like you should also start meditating if you're not already. And, um, you know, claiming your own psychic power because you're more powerful than this person. 
But the thing is, this person's in their awakening phase and they're really in their power right now. So they're like really, they're counting on you not being in your power. You know what I mean? Like if you really reclaim your power from them, like you're going to, it's going to help you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys take my advice and really deal with this. I know you don't want to. I know a lot of you are just like wanting to sweep it under the rug. You're like, dude, I'm over you. Like I want to move on, but it's like, it, it's, it sucks, but it does need to be addressed because they are, they are doing magic or they are having someone do magic on you. So you, you're in a psychic battle, unfortunately, if this is your story, I mean, you would know if this is your story. This isn't like, you know what I mean? Like if you're resonating with all of this, you're like, oh shit, that's my person. Then yeah, it's your story. But, um, but yeah, you have, you, unfortunately you need to, you need to battle this. You need to get in, you need to, to fight this. You need to get through this energy. And like I said, be silent. Don't, don't let them know that if they're affecting you, don't, don't show it. Don't let them know if you're having a bad day. Don't show, don't show it on social media where they might be stalking you. Don't, don't show it. Just be like, you just cried your eyes out all day, but you post a picture like, like out with my friends, like living it up. You know what I mean? Like, just, just make them feel because that's going to it's like I said it's going to discourage them it's going to make them feel like they're not as powerful as they think they are because they're on an ego trip right now which happens sometimes when someone goes to that like awakening stage they're like they're you know they're remembering their past lives they're they have all this psychic power they didn't know they had like so they're on a total ego trip right now so you need to deflate that ego <laughs> Um, you need to discourage them. You need to make them feel like they're not powerful. You need to make them feel like their magic is not working. So again, don't get angry. Don't say, oh my God, like how dare you do a spell? Cause then they're going to be like, oh wow, they felt that. And they're going to do more spells. You know, like you need to just be silent and just act like it did not even phase you. Like you didn't even feel the spell they did. Like you have like, you know what I mean? Like you're just good. Um, I know I'm being really repetitive, but this, I mean, th these messages need to sink into your, you know, they need to sink into your mind. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the energy I'm getting. I, I hope you guys take my advice and you deal with this and you clear this up and hopefully in a couple of weeks, there'll be a better story on the board. Maybe something about new love. Cause I do feel like your guides want you to have new love, but they're, I almost feel like they're protecting your, you might already have like a soulmate or a twin flame that's planned for you, like someone that's destined to be with you. But I kind of feel like your spirit guides are protecting your, per, this person. If it, you, maybe you've met them, maybe you haven't, I'm not sure, but they're protecting that person from this energy. Cause if, if they, if another person comes in right now, your person is like going to pick up on their energy and attack them. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but it's true. Um, so your spirit guides are kind of like keeping them out of all this chaos but like I said, once this energy is cleared up and this person is finally like given up and moved on, you're, you're good. You know what I mean? Like, and like I said, you just have to be consistent with it. You have to consistently discourage them. You have to, you just have to deal with this. I think, I think that's the main thing is that you have to, you have to, you have to deal with this energy. You have to cut and clear and you have to, you know, block them when you cut and clear. You have to, you should do uncrossing work as well. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uncrossing, but basically if someone hexes you, you can, you know, if you're powerful enough, you can get rid of that through an uncrossing bath. It's, it's removing negative energy. It's removing stagnant, unwanted energy. So while you're doing this work, I would consistently do like, even like once a week, do an uncrossing bath with how obsessed this person is. And, you know, saging your space, like cleansing your space, um, consistent protection, consistent. And again, cutting, cutting and clearing is really important because some of you, you cut and cleared, but you talk to them. So the cords reattach. So you got to do the cut and clear spell again for some of you. Um, cause that, you know, if you haven't done it, it's not, then the protection spell is not going to do much cause they still have the cord that they can connect to you through, you know, but, um, yeah, cut and clear, protection, uncrossing, and then reversing magic. For some of you, you need to put their crap back on them. Um, let me see here. Sorry, I'm just seeing what else I can channel from this. It's an interesting energy. Ooh, it's kind of an icky energy. <laughs> um... It's like making my head hurt. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. 
but no, you guys will be okay. Like, don't be discouraged and don't give them, don't give them the power. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I said, they will give up. They will get frustrated when they see that they can no longer affect you. Like when you stop giving your power to them and like they see that you're just living your best life and the, the spell work, even if it's not true, just making them believe that the spell work they, they're doing is not even like phasing you, like you're just good. Eventually they're going to get discouraged, you know? It's just they're in their awakening phase, so they have all this power right now. But it's not the that phase does not last forever. So, so, so yeah, be consistent. I think the main thing, like I said, is just addressing this because so many of you are just like, oh my god, I'm done with this person. Like you're so over it, and it's like, no, you have to. Like, yes, you're over it, but they're, you know, you got to deal with this, unfortunately. So, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. Um. And thank you guys for watching.